Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we're going to do us another offshoot beer company beer. Uh, this is the Relax. It's just a hazy IPA. And guys, I went over this yesterday. I am going to go over it again since uh, Daniel reached out to me after I did uh, one of their beers several weeks ago. And it was a very, very old beer. And uh, basically, uh, the short of it is that he's seen uh, the review and realized I had a very, very old can that I would bought at a craft beer store here. And uh, he could tell by the label uh, that it was very, very old and he wanted to uh, make sure that, uh, that they knew and uh, he sent me uh, three beers uh, to compensate for that and for me to enjoy it. I'm going to review them. Uh, so, uh, uh, this one is, like I said, the, the Relax, uh, which is a 6.8 percenter uh, IPA. Uh, big 16 ounce can and this one has a heat shrunk label on it uh, and on the bottom of it it says it was packaged on 0508 of 2020 and today is just the 17th so pretty dang fresh so uh, I'm sure this is probably going to be a very tasty beer and uh, offshoot is a, uh, an offshoot of the brewery uh, the head of the, the brewer, the founder, Patrick Roof, said that they would never do an IPA, and Offshoot is doing the IPA for the brewery. Uh, so that keeps him from uh, making his claim uh, a lie, <laughs> basically. But the brewery uh, owns this. I mean, it's just another branch of the brewery where they do their IPA so uh, so thanks again Daniel I do appreciate it let's find out what this one's going to bring to the table uh, yeah I can't even get beer brewed in this valley this fresh in their brewed here I mean time they get packaged and go through warehouses and distribution uh, they're several months old and they're done here in the valley it's a shame. It is a sad shame. Uh, uh, Untapped says, Relax is just a hazy IPA. Embraces a new way to enjoy IPA. A filter fresh and full of hot flavor and aromatics. Without the bitterness to stand in the way of kicking back with a juicy beer. Features a combination of citrus, Centennial, Simcoe, and Amarillo hops. Imparting fruity, tropical, and citrusy notes to comp complement the round, soft mouthfeel of a hazy IPA. So, uh, let's find out what this one's about, guys. Uh, Let's pop it open. We got the date and the ABV on the can. And that's what we need. Uh, that's the two most important things. Very hazy coming out. Looks like a New England style beer coming out of the can here, guys. And we're not going to get it all in there on this original pour into this glass. But we will get it all in there before I go off camera. Got a shark on there, so... Uh, and got a guy on a little raft drinking a beer up above it, but he looks like he's getting ready to get swallowed up. I don't get in the ocean anymore. I don't want to be part of that food chain. I used to go out there and I'd go out into shark land, basically. And you don't have to go out that far. I mean, you could be knee-deep, waist-deep, and, and get bit. So, uh, I just don't do it anymore. I was just, I don't even get in the ocean. I'm, I, I'm just getting in the pool. Yeah, that's what I do. I'm an old guy. I want to stay around a little while. All right, about a finger and a half of head on that pour. It looks like a glass of orange juice there, guys. Very nice looking beer. To the nose we go. Uh, big time hop aroma. Very citrusy. Grapefruit, pine, pineapple. Hints of tropical fruit notes. Maybe a little melon in there. Very citrusy. 
awesome smelling beer. Hmm, wonderful aroma, but it's fresh. I mean, uh, to me, the fresher you can get an IPA or a double IPA, the, the, the more it's going to stand out. So, very nice. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Daniel. Everybody at All Street Beer Company in the brewery. Smooth. Alcohol is very well hidden. Very pleasant. Very citrusy. Very tasty. Even though it's 6.8%, it's close enough to my 7% go-to line that I would buy this beer. And like I said, the next time I go across town to, I, and I, they, I see this beer, and it is a fresh one and not something that's undated or old, I'll, I'll probably pick this up again. I love this style of beer, these hazy New England style. Super juicy. Mm. Wow. Delicious. Well, let me get the back end pour on this one. And uh, we're going to go out and sit on the deck and enjoy this. Listen to some music and they fire up a stogie. And enjoy this. I really do enjoy this, this style of beer, guys. And y'all know that. The, the New England style has ruined me. I would drink them every day if I could get my hands on them. No doubt about it. I like that huge hop aroma and taste. So, uh, spread out the fridge. Let's sip on it. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for a while now. Very tasty beer to me. I would buy this beer if I could get it here. And I will check when I, next time I go across town to the craft beer store, see if they have a fresh version. I enjoyed this. This is very tasty. A very nice New England style to me. Uh, <clears throat> hazy IPA. Unfiltered beer. Looks like a glass of orange juice. Big hop aroma and taste. Nice slicing is left on the glass. Alcohol is well hidden. Very enjoyable beer. Uh, wow. I wish the breweries around here would produce something like this and can or bottle it. Uh, it's not happening. Unbelievable. Final choke. Well, can't leave any of that in the glass. Oh yeah, very tasty beer, guys. You need to pick this up if you can get your hands on it, especially if you love this style. Very nice beer. Uh, to me, guys, 95. Solid A beer. Very tasty. Uh, over to Beer Abaca, they say 91. Outstanding. I think it's a little better than 91. Untapped has it at a 4, which is barely into their A category. I think it's better than that. So I'm going against the grade on that. Uh, it's a very enjoyable beer. Very tasty New England style beer, guys. So, with the dis distribution that the brewery has, and I'm sure Offshoot has the same distribution, this should be widely available. So, uh, if you can get it, pick it up. I don't think you'll be disappointed with this one. So, with that being said, if you've had Relax, it's a just a hazy IPA from Offshoot Beer Company. Let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.